All right. Hi, uh, I am Steve J. Palmer. I play Bill Williamson in Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. And right now, we are here Labor Day weekend 2019. Uh, we are at Long Beach Comic Con. Now, uh, the different, was there a different technology from 1 to 2, like capturing it? There were uh, significant upgrades in the technology between what we worked on in, in 2009 and 2010 uh, from 2014 onward. Uh, you know, it just uh, advancements as far as the, uh, of kind of my everything. As far as the specifics, I, I wouldn't be, begin to know where to tell you and I wouldn't be allowed to tell you anyway. So you just have to, you'll have to just assume that was all black magic. Okay. That's the same. It, about, it was wizardy. Yeah, what about like uh, riding a horse? Did you actually ride the horse? Or like, like, the three, like, they need to sit on what they would do is, uh, and this was done in both games, um, uh, they would use uh, water drums and like old emptied out oil drums and stuff and, and uh, PVC pipe and they would go and connect it and basically make a structure of a, a standable horse we get on, put genuine leather saddles on it and we we would uh, we would like wear leather boots, so the sound of the leather squeaking is all general. Us, the movements of us getting on and getting off, uh, that's us. But we did not get on real horses, but we want to make everyone think that we did. Yeah. Most people think we did, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you, you do other stuff besides it. You also done uh, uh, yes, well, Deadwood. I, you know, here's the thing about the Deadwood thing is that most of everything I was in was basically just totally cut out. Oh. And I laugh about it now. It's like you, you barely see me in season three. But the experience uh, uh, was, uh, uh, I mean, there's pics of me all over. I looked fantastic. It was so awesome. I'm not going to lie. It was cool. Um, but uh, I had told other people it was cool because uh, where Deadwood is filmed, outside uh, San Luis Creed at Melody Ranch, it is such a wonderful set. That was such a great uh, show and experience. And that just being there on set and just being surrounded, like the smell of the wood from the actual saloons and just being out kind of out in the desert area and just the, 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 the aridness and just the scent of that. Uh, I will never forget how that felt. And, and you kind of, in your subconscious, you use that something to pull from when when working on Red Dead because you're in a in a building not too dissimilar from this and you're in Velcro pajamas pretty much yeah. so it's up to the the individual it's up to the actor to pull what uh, authenticity they can from other experiences which is pretty much what the basis of acting yeah. is so uh, I, I, I definitely got to use that experience and just as far as uh, like a, in my head a placement of history uh, I used that uh, me being on the Deadwood set certainly for for both uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption games. Very cool. And you also do a lot of voiceover stuff. You do stuff for Discovery Channel? I've done stuff for uh, for History Channel, uh, Discovery Channel. I have something that uh, 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 I did recently, Instagram, a thing where I, I was, I got a picture uh, at a booth. I'm wearing an Undead Nightmare shirt, and I'm trying to press it. If you're watching this, that project has nothing to do with the Red Dead Redemption IP. So I'm just letting you now know, other than social media, right here, that it's something completely different. And when I can announce it, you're gonna realize I am telling the honest truth. But I do have something uh, in the works I'll be able to talk okay. about later on. All right, so where can we follow me on social media when you can talk about uh, Here's what I can talk about. Uh, I uh, You can follow me, Twitter, Instagram's the same. It's uh, at uh, Steve underscore J underscore Palmer. I have uh, some conventions coming up uh, the weekend of the 13th and 15th. Now this is for my European fans. I'm going to be doing my first overseas convention at the Zurich Game Show. Oh, wow. And uh, that's again, that's a 13th through 15th. I fly out, I fly out on the 11th. Uh, and then from there, I'm going to uh, Ancient City Con in Florida. So I've got two back-to-back -back weekends coming up. And then uh, for the rest of the year, it lo and like and something else happens, but my uh, my first 2020 convention will be with Penny O'Brien. We're going to be doing Stockticon Winter on January 20th. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. Happy Labor Day to you. <laughs>